Whoa, holy shit. Okay. But, dude. <laughs> I need to just take a minute and let my brain calm down. Don't look these up, please. I care about you. Hey, everyone. How are you? I'm doing great, thanks. I just got back from Albuquerque, New Mexico, where I, I went home. I visited my wife's family. So now I'm back. Uh, I picked up some new books. You can't even fucking read it. Oh my god, it's black and it's dark. It's the Berserk manga. I only got 10 and 11 because that's where I am in the manga. Sooner or later, I'll get the whole thing. I think there's 12 of these deluxe editions. And I also have the newest, um, the most recently released manga over there. But it's completely in Japanese. I need to get the English one. Wow, I just went on a fucking weird tangent there. Today, we're going to be talking about two of the most disturbing websites that you can find on the clear net. We're not going to be talking about the deep web or the dark net or the Mariana's web. If you don't know what those three are, what are you doing here? We're just gonna, we're gonna talk about the clear web today. I don't dabble in that kind of shit. So we're going to be talking about on the clear web. So today we're going to be talking about two. And if you're here, you're probably very curious onto what the site's names are. I will tell you them. Just be fucking cautious because these are bait and switches. Like I'm saying, if you're not prepared, they can fuck up your computer. I highly recommend you guys don't visit these websites. I'm not gonna post a link anywhere. I'm gonna tell you the name of them, mostly because I care about your guys' computer and mental fucking sanity. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you the name once, okay? No links, no nothing. I just need to say it once so that you guys know what these websites are. One of the websites that I'm gonna talk about is actually down. It was removed because of how fucked up it was. So we're gonna be talking about the first one that to my knowledge is still up right now and that one is called Kekma.net. So this website was a, it was a bait and switch website. So what a bait and switch website is, is that it pretends to be something that it's not it's uh it pretended to be how do i word this it it wasn't pretending to be anything but this is still a bait and switch it's just that people thought because of other people how do i word this shit your friends if they do this they're not your fucking friends that your friends would send you a link to this website under the guise of it being a funny video or a meme anything like that uh of that nature if you will and it would come up with this picture right here which says this website contains dark adult humor which is unsuitable for children 18 plus only and in the middle there was a big enter button okay and as soon as you entered this website this is where the bait and switch comes into play because as soon as you hit the enter button it forces itself into full screen mode once there it would play two very loud sound effects both of those would be people screaming. It is believed, not confirmed. It is believed that these screams are real coming from people that are being tortured. And these are blaring through your headphones, okay? Because I don't care how soft your computer volume is. I believe it takes over your computer completely. It is malware. There is malware located in these websites. That's why I said don't go to them. And it turns your volume up all the way and it blasts it through your headphones or your speakers or anything like that. And it destroys equipment with these screams. So before the data of March 13th, 2020, there was a video of pork cysts being pressed out of a human liver as the, as the centerpiece video. So how this website was set up was that there was a video in the middle and on the four corners, it would flash between different pictures. The video in the middle prior to the date that I said, which was March 13th, 2020, it was a video of the pig cysts, pork cysts, being pressed out of a human liver. The background images actually flashed between different images. The more famous and notable ones were, um, or infamous and notable ones, were um, one of an interracial couple having um, the deed being done, so corn on the cob, right? But it was photoshopped to make it look like it was an exploded corpse, so the man was having intercourse with an exploded corpse. And the other one was a baby being grilled with a photoshopped Panasia on it, but the creator actually took that photo down because he was not sure if that photo was real or not. Of course, he doesn't want like a, a real picture of an actual child being grilled on the fucking site. For some reason, this guy has morals now. So he replaced that photo with a picture of the Chinese skin trade, which would be a dog being skinned alive. So on February 16th of this year, 2022 or 2022 for the, for the layman, 
uh, the creator, Obok, Meet God, O-B-O-K, Meet God, actually removed all the shocking content off of this site and replaced it with a message. And it said that the site had served its purpose and its only purpose was to see how far and how much a shock site would spread in the modern internet without any advertisement or budget whatsoever. And it did its job because by that time, by February 16th, 2022, the site had reached over 30 million views. 30 million people saw this fucking atrocity. And so, the website did its job, which was to spread without any, without any advertisement, without anything. It was just word to mouth or links being copied and pasted. <coughs> I swallowed a piece of spit. Oh, <coughs> where was I? Oh yeah, three million views. So that message stayed up for quite a bit until uh, February twenty eighth. So twelve days later, the site was actually completely removed, and it was replaced by two community forums that kind of mimic what it was trying to do. And those forums are Stump Grinder and Kekma Hub. So Kekma Hub was taken down, or not taken down, it was taken down, you know what I mean, by the creator. So despite the shutdown and taken down by the, the creator took it down, not taken down by like the fucking feds. Despite the shutdown of um, Kekma.net, it was replaced by two community pages named stumpgrinder.info and tube.kekmahub.com. Now I warn you again, do not visit these websites because they contain malware. It will fuck up your computer. I don't care if you think you can handle it, it will fuck your computer up. Not to mention, fuck up your mental health. So please don't visit these websites. So you're probably wondering how this um, website spread about um so i'm gonna let you guys know how the website actually spread now that you know what the website actually consists of so the website spread basically through reddit and 4chan there was a youtuber by the name of chronic who actually commented the link to this website under numerous videos contributing to not majority but you know a lot of traffic through this website and that was the earliest mention of this website and back then it wasn't called kekma.net it was known as kekma.ga there was also a flag going around actually i've seen this flag before even knowing about the website and that was commonly associated with the website as the website's official flag not endorsed by the creator or anything like that but the flag was the kekistan flag but instead of that it also had big chungus on it and also had the words we hate n-words and then it also says free sex at kekma.ga. The reason they use this flag is because it was associated with the Gambanese flag, which is where GA came from, which owns kekma.ga. Well, it doesn't own, it was a top level domain. Kekma.ga was it, associated with the Gambanese what you know what the fuck i'm talking about there was also a reddit user by the name of the roman atheist who would comment the site's link under numerous threads and it would say things like this is reddit's hottest alternative and he would just fucking spread that shit like aids like it was everywhere on reddit for a minute when people questioned him about it he would say that it was a role play website it was a web comic website wow this guy's a fucking asshole the roman atheist role played as someone who hated jews muslims gays lgbtq women and democrats this guy's just a piece of shit all around so in july 2020 the website's popularity actually shot up a lot and that is when kekma.ga was seized by the government the reason it was seized was for obscene content obviously after that it was put under the name kekma.xyz short like within a month that was also taken down from the xyz's domain owners for supporting violence mostly because this website was actually tra trending on tiktok yes I shit you not, this website was actually trending on TikTok because people were saying that this website had a subliminal message saying that it was a terroristic training regime and shit like that. Like, it was crazy. I never saw this on TikTok, but I wouldn't even fucking doubt it. The, that place is a shithole. And that was when it was moved to Kekma.net, where it stayed Kekma.net for the next, what was it, 16 months until the website was taken down by the owners. Um, so, yeah. So that's it for uh, kekma.net.xyz.ga. Like I said, please don't look these websites up because they can fuck your computer up. Not only your computer, but your 
mental sanity. So now we're gonna move on to the next website, which is womensalliance.xyz. So womensalliance.xyz was an actual bait and switch. It was um, your traditional bait and switch of something that it pretended to be something, and it was something completely opposite. So as the name suggests, womensalliance.xyz had the facade of being a woman's empowerment and feminist site. When in reality, Women's Alliance at XYZ was a more repulsive site than Kekma.ga. The website itself looked uh, like a generic early 2000s site. So when you first enter the website, you're met with a PNG in the middle of a woman's silhouette. And the entire background is the woman symbol. I don't know what that's called. It's the thing with the line and the cross, the circle. You know what I'm talking about. And in the middle, there would be the PNG of a woman in the silhouette. And it would also say, I'm just going to read what it says. This website contains stories of female empowerment. Some of these stories might upset or offend sensitive users. This site is unsuitable for children 18 plus only. And as soon as you would hit enter, that's when shit would hit the fucking fan. So as soon as you hit enter, it would automatically turn itself into full screen, similar to kekma.net.god.xyz or whatever. Except it would only be a video or videos, I should say a montage of women being tortured, mutilated, raped, you know, the, just the worst things you could picture to do to a woman was being displayed in front of you. Also, while Pretty Woman by Roy Orbison was being played at very high volumes on repeat. So the entire site was just that. The video also contained clips of very serious illnesses such as maggot infested vaginas, as well as puss filled breasts due to cancer with the puss coming out and exploding, as well as rotted uh, breasts. So the video was actually extremely disturbing to a lot of people, especially for people thinking that they were going into a feminist website. That's why this website was deemed more cynical and more malicious than kekma.ga.net.xyz. And I forgot to say for kekma.ga.net.xyz that if you tried to leave the site, it would increase the volume and increase the size of the video. And if you pushed, um, a key on your keyboard, it would come up with a prompt saying that if you would like to leave the site. If you were to hit yes, it would then bombard you with, what's the word I'm looking for? Hateful messages, misogynistic threats, stuff like that. And I'm going to read the threats that have been recorded. To take your life is why I live. For your crimes, you will be butchered. Next quote. You'll be forced to suffer through torture, you dead cum dumpster bitches. Next quote. I'll kill you and throw your slaughtered asses into ditches. Holy fuck, dude. The only way to leave the site that would make the most sense would be to completely shut down your computer, unplug everything, and wait at least 30 minutes for the capacitors to turn out. I'm sorry, I'm going into the electronic side of things. Just unplug your computer. That's why I say don't visit these websites because they can and will fuck up your computer because they do con contain malware, like I said numerous times. So the reason this website, Women's Alliance, came into being is because Obak Meat God, who was the original founder and creator of Kikma.ga or .net, is he wanted to expand on the Kekma's legacy and its subculture. And the reason he wanted to further expand Kekma.ga's subculture is because Kekma.ga, and I'm going to read here, the site relied heavily on browser exploits to function or else it would only allow one pop-up per session. Having malware on a website was a bad idea due to legal reasons and the shock value wasn't deemed high enough. Suffice to say, the remnants of Kekma.ga or brown action is what it was called before, were used as a foundation to create Women's Alliance and the site was officially launched on October 6, 2020. So this website, Women's Alliance XYZ, was actually taken down, like I said, by XYZ owner domains or domain owners because obvious reasons it promotes violence and it was extremely obscene and the website ain't there no more. It ain't there no more. This shit's so fucked up that they took this shit down. I don't know what else to say. Obak, like it, I don't know. So actually, while I'm reading these forums, I actually came across a reply from Obak Meat God. This is quote unquote, I'm going to read directly. And I'm also going to have the picture on the screen from Obak Meat God onto why he created these kinds of websites and what his thought process was going into them. So here we go. I made this site. I can't believe how much it has spread. I see someone tried to archive it with Wayback. It won't do it because of robots.txt. If it goes down, I'll post a RAR with the whole site here. And then another user by the name of VHB commented back to him and said, what made you decide to create the site and choose the name? Obak 
Obak Meat God then replies, and it should be said that Obak Meat Guy's name on this form is Kekma Guy. Kekma Guy is who I'm going to be reading, and then somebody interjects and asks him the question, and his reply is then followed. Kekma Guy then replies, I've run created shock sites and screamers every year since 2013. None related of note, just a bunch of SWF screamers that abuse the glitch in the Flash to turn loud Negra into a cascading howl that sounds like hell. When Flash got disabled by default, I made an HTML5 site called, I don't know how to say that. You can read that. Oh, my cat. Here's my cat, everybody. This is Kepri. Kepri's my buddy. Oh my god, he's a fat fucking sack of shit. You're a fat little dumbass, yeah? You're a fat little idiot, yeah? You're a fat fuck. Yeah. I love you. I love you, you fat bastard. I have run slash created shock sites and screamers every year since 2013. None really of note, just a bunch of dot SWF screamers that abuse the glitch and flash to turn loud Negra into a cascading howl that sounds like hell. When flash got disabled by default, I'd made an HTML5 site called, I'm not reading that, I don't know how to read that, I can't pronounce it, I'm stupid. It was pretending to be like Imgur. It got maybe two wild views a month. It was just a picture of a fat middle-aged crossdresser sticking his penis into a plastic bottle while an ear-raped line from the darkest dungeon or ancient traps unsprung and thirsting for blood, played on a loop. Chrome made it so autoplaying elements would not play without being triggered without user interaction, and Firefox followed shortly after. It was very frustrating. It sounds stupid, but it felt to me like the safe and sterile modern social media dominated internet and had finally been spread to browsers, which are now babying people too dumb to install a script blocker. I wanted to create a simple site that would last, that didn't rely on scripts or files that would easily be blocked. User initiation of what appears to be completely benign scripts and videos is isn't something can user initiation of what appears to be completely benign scripts and videos isn't something that can really be restricted. That's how Kekma.ga was born. It didn't have the full screen trap, the severed penis swastika cursor, or the dialogue box of delaying closing the site initially. Those were added late last year. That took me about five minutes to read from user initiation all the way to the end of that fucking paragraph. Jazz is just a great guy and just cut it out for me. I struggled through that shit. The name was suggested by a friend who pointed out that penisparasite.es probably wasn't going to draw anyone in but something related to maga ma ma mega ma whatever you want to fucking say could bring in a lot of people from politically oriented oriented communities who likely were too new to the internet to have seen the heyday of shock sites so there you have it that's where kekma.ga.xyz.net was born and that's also where women's alliance.xyz was born these are two of the most disturbing sites you could witness or come across on the modern internet on the clear net we're not talking about the other three just the clear net. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every minute you guys spend sitting here listening to my incoherent mumbling. Thank you guys so much for the appreciation and love that you guys have been giving me here and on TikTok. Everyone, please thank Jazz for an amazing job. Trust me, this video, I don't know how long the video is because obviously I haven't seen it yet, but I've been recording for 44 minutes. I have been stumbling over my words like a fucking idiot this entire time. But thank you guys so much. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, you guys want to learn more about shocking and disturbing websites that are very easily accessible please don't hesitate to hit the like button and also the subscribe button and also show jazz some love please down in the comment section below because he puts up with my bullshit way too much thank you guys all so much once again i will catch you guys in the next video next week love you guys and i'll see you later bye the tongue twister bro peter pepper picked up the pepper, pepper. Bro. oh my god oh my god i have one minute i have one minute